Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to generate a 3D avatar by using just a JPG or PNG pictures and import into your Unreal Engine 4 to make her to make him become become an avatar in your game or make her become an NPC in your Unreal Engine 4 game project. So start from now I'm going to show you step by step how to make this. This is a picture, a JPG picture. It can be JPG, it can be PNG. So this is just a picture and image. If you are unable to see the file extension, the first step, what you need to do is you go to the file explorer, click view, option, view. You untick the second option, High extension for non file type. This one you just need to untake it so that you can see all the file extension here. After that, the next step we are going to do is we need to convert this picture, this image into 3D mesh. So, first you need to enter this website. I already put this link in my video description at the bottom. Enter this website and drag to the bottom, click the collab. After you click the collab, you enter an another website here. The first step, what you need to do is click this, copy to cloud drive, just to click here. Then you automatic open in a new tab here. Then you go to edit, notebook setting, make sure you choose GPU here. After that, click save. The next step, come and click this arrow, select the first one. Then wait for a while until, until you can see your RAM and hard disk. Just wait for a while. So now it's ready, it has a green tick and RAM, hard disk. So the next you just need to scroll down, click here. You run until finish, then scroll down again, click this. Then scroll down, click here. After that, click this and click here. So now you can see, you can upload the file. So while it is rotating here, now I click choose file. The file is on my desktop, fashion1.jpg. Now already select desktop, open open so wait until 100% it is successfully uploaded and the next we modify the file name here the file name should be same as your file name this file name so now test.png we delete it and type fashion1.jpg after that click here when you see control plus F10 you select this now you just need to wait for a while it will run one by one all the algorithm run one by one until it finish It takes some time, it depends on your computer speed.
so now we need to wait for this now we already finished you see this one result fashion one two five six dot obz the keyword is dot obz already finished so now this one you can ignore just ignore this now you can download your obz 3d mesh you just need to go to folder here click when you see this one pfu hd click then results click results click final click reckon now drag this you see your file is here result fashion one two five six dot obz click the triple dot here click download it will automatic download to your computer you need to wait until the orange color finish the whole round now it is downloading in just a few seconds it finish click here show in folder this is the 3d file the obz file you should be able to see the file extension dot obz if you can't see this just need to go to view option view make sure you untick here then click ok now this is the obz file as demo i put on desktop next i will open blender now i re remove everything here the camera the line and the cube i delete everything then I'm going to import I'm going to import this file import obz I click desktop this file is on my desktop I double click and wait for a while until it automatic imported now you see this is a 3d mesh the next I, what I need to do is need to add the texture now I only have this picture now I'm going to add this picture as the texture wrap this picture on this mesh how am I going to do? first go to UV editing and then rotate this you must be able to see the green color ball click the green color ball not the Y but you, you click the opposite the green color this one click after that here select okay after that you click the mesh click here select edit mode it will become orange color you don't click anywhere here don't click the next you are going to open open the picture on, on your desktop this picture is on my desktop as demo fashion1.jpg the original picture and the next I'm going to click UV and click project from view now, now you should be able to see your mesh shape at here and next I'm going to select this click resize rescale I make it bigger to fit the texture okay, it is something like this you must be able to fit it move must be 100% fit make it small a bit okay fit up and down fit okay so the next click here the base color you, you click click here and image texture after that click here it's already selected so now you can back to layout click this 
now this is the 3D mesh the only problem is here you have a repeated face here this is very easy to settle back to your UV editing okay hold, sh hold the shift and rotate click somewhere else here and click here you should be able to view this so this part should be the hair so what I'm going to do is this one I click and drag to the select circle and now I'm going to paint this select the parts that I want to change it to become the hair should be all these parts and also this part hold the shift so that you can select more and more here so once this area are all selected what you are going to do is remap this texture All this part, I make it become small and make it become smaller again. Make it become smaller, and I'm going to map all this texture at this location so that it will look normal. So now back to the layout and check again. Now it looks normal already. And which part is abnormal? Here I also can remap it. Back to the UV editing. Remap this part. This part should be the skin color. So what I need to do is I just need to drag this part in a little bit, move it. Okay, like this. It should be better. Now back to the layout again. Now it should be better. So this is the human mesh. it is quite complete the next step what you need to do is to export it as an FBX file in your blender you click file export export as FBX file and then as demo I will export it on my desktop And remember, in order to export it, you have the path mode you have to select copy and make sure you click here to turn on to turn on this. After that, you name it probably girl01. Alright, then you click export FBX. Next, you should save the Blender file, file save as, save as a backup, 
and you have to put it properly so that next time you still can come back to the blender to re-edit this 3D avatar. As demo, I will just I just save as a blend file on my desktop. I will name it Girl01. Save as. Now I can close my blender. So now I, I double check it, the girl 01 FB file. When I double click and open, it will open with the 3D viewer, all the texture are complete. Next, I should open open the Miza more. I will go to Google Chrome. I will go to mizamo.com <clears throat> The next step, I will use the Mizamo to auto-read the avatar The girl01.fbx First, I, I have to click upload character Then, you drag the fbx into this box then you have to wait for a while until it finish uploading. Alright, now it, it, it is already finished uploaded. Click next. Finish auto rig already. Click next. Turn off the symmetry. Drag the chin to the chin. The waist. Left and right. The elbow. the knee and the groin click next alright now finally you already successfully used the Mizamo Auto Regal to rig this avatar click next click next Alright, the next step, you have to download from Mizamo. Click download. Make sure you select a T-Post here and click download. Alright, after download, it will be in your download folder. Just click here, this is Google Chrome. So you click show in folder, it will open the download folder. It is some, somewhere here. By the way, you have to rename it. Girl 01. You can put underscore or you just space it T post. And I will put on my desktop. Now the girl 01 is T post that you already finished rig by using the Mizamo Auto Rigger. Just double click to have a check. It is in T post. So next I will just close the 3D viewer. Next I will open the Unreal Engine. The Unreal Editor. As demo, I will just create a new game. Click next. I will select a third person and click next. The project name, I will just name it as People HD to Unreal Engine 4 Zero 01. This is just a demo, I'll just create a new project. Now, this is a fresh new project in your Unreal Engine 4, the third person game. The first step, click content, then I'll open a new folder here, right click and click new folder. I'll type pfu hd 
underscore avatar. Well, I just put a capital letter avatar. Double click in. As demo, I will just drag in the girl zero one t post. That is the most important file that you are going to import into your Unreal Engine four. Drag in. Then you click import all. After finish imported, it will show you a message log. You can just close this. Now you can see your avatar is here. So next what should you do? Double click the girl 01 T post skeleton and then Select rig, you change it to select humanoid rig. Then click save. Next, you double click again. Next, you are going to plot all the targets. After you already select the humanoid, if you cannot see this, the retarget manager you have to activate from here. Alright, so the first one, the root you select none, the pelvis you have to select hip, the spine, 0, 1 you have to select spine, next one spine 0, 2 you have to select spine 1, the spine 0, 3 you select spine 2. You, you have to retarget Retargets the skeleton, retarget the bones from Mizamo. This is Unreal Engine 4. You have to follow all these names. The clavicle, the left clavicle, you have to choose the left shoulder. Next is left arm. Left forearm. left hand here the clavicle arm you choose right shoulder then right arm right forearm next is right hand the neck zero ones you have to select neck The head is already selected as the head. The tight L you have to you have to select left up leg. Left up leg. The cup L have to choose left leg. Left foot. And the next one is the tight arm, right up leg. Here, right leg. And the foot arm, you choose right foot. That's all. Then you click save. Next, you can close. Next step, you have to click the contents. Go to the mannequin, the character. Mesh and you double click the mannequin skeleton. So, here set up a rig, you also have to change it to become select human rig. Next, you click save and close. Alright, now you go back to your avatar, the people HD avatar, double click in and double click your skeleton. So now you can see this skeleton is already made sure same, same as the A pose. So at the beginning you choose a photo, at the beginning you, you take your friend's picture or your own picture, 
you have to make sure you have you already in the A pose. If not, if this is not an A pose, you still can adjust it. Let's say now I want to do some adjustment. I can just click and I can do some adjustment to make it same as the mannequin. You can adjust. This is the shoulder. So you can click the skeleton tree if you want to adjust the left hand, the left forearm, the left arm. You can adjust to make sure it is same as the A pose. Once you feel everything perfect, how about the leg? You also can adjust the leg as well. Once you already make sure it is already in A pose, you click save. Next step, close it. Go back to the contents. Double click the mannequins and double click the animation folder. Here you should be able to see a third person animation blueprint. You right click and click retarget, duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. Here you choose choose the girl girl zero one T pose skeletons. And and then you click retarget. Now you can see you already have all of this, it automatically appear under the content folder. Next step, rename this, the third person animation blueprint, you right click, rename. And here, at the behind, routine underscore girl zero one. This is very important, you have to name it properly. Make sure you, you create the notes there, put the girl zero one, same name as, as the, the name that you can remember that this belongs to girl zero one. Next, go to the third person. You can see under your, your Unreal Engine project, you have this avatar. You have to delete it first. Press delete button to make sure you delete it. And make sure in your map, you already have, have a, a new player start. Next, go to the third person blueprint. Double click the blueprint and you can see your third person character. This is the avatar, the main avatar in your Unreal Engine 4 project. You are going to right click and duplicate this. And then you name it as girl01. Sorry. Third person character girl01. Make sure you name it properly and double click it. Click the viewport and click the mesh. The skeleton mesh, you select the girl 01 T pose. And then the animation class, you choose choose the one that third person animation blueprint girl 01. So now it is exactly same as same as the avatar that you want. Next, you just click Compile and Close. We want to make this third person character girl zero one as the main avatar or any of the NPC. You can just drag it, drag her out. This is the NPC. Or you also can make her become a main avatar by, by clicking the Edit Project Setting. Click the Map and Mode. Next. It is under selected game mode, default pawn class, to change it to become the third person character girl 01, close. So now once you click play, it 
restart your game and now you can see this avatar already become your, your game character and another one is the NPC Alright, that's all for today about how to how to use just a, a single picture use a photo to make her become your game avatar in Unreal Engine 4 that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.